We're full-time RVers and we have a nice setup with our smart car in the back of our truck bed. But we also have two Can-Am motorcycles and we want to take them with us for the journey around America. So we contacted RVH Lifestyles out of Parsons, Kansas where they customize Volvo trucks for your hauling needs. And they fabricated, engineered, a customized split drum storage box with the one pull motorcycle lift integrated into the center of the drum box. So this is what it looks like and this is how we get the spiders on the back of the truck. It starts by putting the ramps out. The two on the ends are longer than the one in the middle. in the back of the truck holds a line for a winch. Back the motorcycle up to the ramps. Hook the line to the winch to the back of the hitch on the motorcycle and with a remote winch control it is pulled up on top of the truck bed on a platform for the lift. Put the strap on the back to a chalk. Put the chalks on the front, put the straps on. And then there's two side straps as well. One that goes to the back and one that goes to the front. Then up it goes. the hydraulic lift. Then we use a safety bar before we climb underneath it in order to drop the legs that will support the platform. And there are three of them. The safety bar can be removed and the pins put in the lights. Then a PVC pipe is put around the hydraulic cylinder to hold it up to keep it tension on the lift chain. Also keeps it from rattling when we're moving. Cross bars are added for stability rigidity to the lift. up the second motorcycle the same way. There's the crossbars. And of course their tire is tied down in the back and the chalks. The brackets are put on the front and they are tied down to the front tires. Again, put the straps front and back and there it is. But we also wanted to bring our smart car with us. So we contacted Idaho Tote where we purchased a tote and RVH Lifestyles fabricated some parts for us and they attached it to the back of our truck. Made sure we had reverse lighting for it. Just so you know that the Idaho Tote is equipped with a pressure sensing steering axle so that when pressure is applied from turning, 
the wheels will automatically steer. It has an onboard compressed air system, which is used to change the position of the axle when it's traveling either forward or in reverse. And there you have it. Thanks for watching. Uh...